All right. Well, this is a first. I'm actually doing my first ever podcast via audio and video. So thanks so much for watching if you're watching. This episode is a bonus episode and I do have my little two-year-old. No, not two. She's one and a half-ish. So that's why I went automatically up to two. She's my third, so third child problems, right? <laughs> but um, anyways, <clears throat> this episode is a bonus episode, and um, I'm just going to dive right in. So basically, somebody asked me, how do you write your songs? How do you write for worship music? And I guess I would just start by saying, what is your why? What is my why? What was my why looking back when I first started writing worship songs, which really wasn't too terribly long ago? I guess maybe it was. I would say 2012 is when I started to really get serious about writing. Um, and my style may be completely different from anything you ever heard. This is certainly not like the one way be all kind of thing to do. For me though, um, when I hit around yeah, 24 ish, um, I was pregnant with my first child. I realized I've never read the Bible the whole way through and it was super embarrassing. And so. <laughs> I committed to slowly just reading a little bit of the Bible every day. Okay, so fast forward, um, pregnant again, second child, and same thing. And after having her, I was reading through again my second time around. And the cool thing about the Bible is you're reading and, you know, you're reading the same things you've read before, but it comes to life because it's living. The Word is living and active. And it... Um, I don't know, I just, I, I started to just read things and they would just jump off the page like, this is a really, really great lyric idea, like, holy cow. And so many times, like, that would happen day after day after day, I was like, I need to start documenting these ideas because I may not have, you know, a lot of time right now with a little kid, but, you know, eventually I want to start writing these songs from these from these Bible verses that I'm reading through. And so what I would do is just in my Bible... I would just take, you know, uh, a pen, and my Bible is really annotated. It's It has tons of writing in it. But what you'll find in my Bible are little eighth note, like little marks. And that signifies to me, this is a good lyric idea to revisit the next time I have time to songwrite. So, um, Fear Not, that's one of the songs that's been released so far. That, you know, that came about just from reading in Isaiah and reading, you know, in, in the Psalms and, and, and all these other places that um, points to specific lyrics in that song. Um, from a musical side of things when you're writing, um, for, at least for me, I, I get asked a lot, you know, which do you write first, melody or chords or lyrics and for me wow it, it can go a bunch of different ways for me it's typically melody is my jam I love melody I struggle more with the words part of things I I'll hear a melody before I'll ever really hear like a, a line of lyric um, so for me what it what it entails is I usually have my phone and I have that wonderful app called Voice Memo app and I just take it out and if I have just even like an eight bar phrase of melody that I like, typically I, I write the choruses first. That is definitely something that is that I could say is kind of like my thing. I like to start with the chorus because I feel like if you've got a really good chorus, a really good melody for that chorus, then the rest of the song is going to be carried well by that by that chorus. Um, my favorite things to write are definitely the chorus and the bridge. And I find that even when I'm listening to music, I oftentimes my favorite parts of songs are actually the bridges. And it like totally, <laughs> it totally is maybe not your normal kind of listener thing to to have that mentality but it totally is mine it cracks my daughters up like mom you're so into this bridge and not the other part of the song I'm like yeah I know it's what I do right so um but anyways yeah so melody first and then just going back in my songs I'm sorry in my bible and then looking at those lyrics